Toho wants to replace Ten Hag at Man United after a contact. Sky Sports Germany reporter Florian Plettenberg says the Manchester United and Chelsea jobs both appeal to Thomas Toho. Thomas Tuchel is tempted to return to the Premier League with either Manchester United or Chelsea. United have been in contact with the German manager recently, according to Sky Sports Germany. Thomas Tuchel has been touted to make a Premier League return in the summer, with Sky Germany's Florian Plettenberg reporting that Chelsea and Manchester United present two appealing destinations for the German manager, with United making contact already. As Bayern Munich's run of 11 straight years as Bundesliga champions was brought to an end by Bayer Leverkusen's maiden title, Tuchel's Dijroten negotiations looked to stagnate with United most likely to hire the cap-wearing coach. Manchester United job tempting for Tuchel Plettenberg reported via X on Monday that Tuchel was initially ready to carry on as Bayern boss and that talks were held. However, presumably faltering with domestic failure, the former Chelsea boss, who also sees Paris Saint-Germain and Borussia Dortmund on his resume, is now linked to a return to England's top flight. News to Hull he was open to continue at FC Bayern. There were internal discussions. But the door is now closed for the time being. Black right arrow hash understand there are two appealing destinations for him, Man United or a return to Chelsea. There is loose contact with Man U United FC. But for now he is currently fully focused on Bayern and wants to win the Champions League for the team and the fans. Manchester United have reportedly kept in contact with Tuchel, who Chelsea star Ben Chilwell labelled an unbelievable manager, following previous speculation, and with Monday night's 4-0 drubbing to Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park, Eric Ten Hag's reign has been put under even more scrutiny. The Manchester Evening News reports that Ineo's Jim Ratcliffe has not been totally convinced by Ten Hag, and that he has opted to refrain from speaking publicly about the Dutchman. Tuchel's part in mutual, loose contact, shows that he is potentially interested in taking the job, and the media sphere has even begun to speculate about who he could take to Old Trafford as part of his project. United aren't the only project that has piqued the manager's interest, as old club Chelsea also seem appealing, according to Plettenberg. Can United learn from Tuchel's past? While a return to the Premier League with Manchester United looks an interesting prospect for Tuchel, it's not lost on the Red Devils' new owner, Jim Ratcliffe, how the current Bayern boss can be difficult to work with. That said, while reports suggest that Ineos are aware of Thomas Tuchel's history of falling out with club chiefs in previous roles, Ratcliffe has made his respect for the once Chelsea coach clear, as Christian Falk reported of mutual respect. Manchester United is still one of the top targets for Thomas Tuchel. He wants to return to the Premier League. He likes how things work there and what it means to be a coach there it's very different to how things work in Germany, the Bild journalist wrote in his exclusive Fact Files column with Court Offside. The new owner, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, has a lot of respect for Thomas Tuchel, and Tuchel is still interested in the United job, so this could be a big topic if Eric Ten Hag is sacked and as soon as Bayern Munich's involvement in the Champions League ends. Jason Wilcox not impressed with Man United defeat to Palace Manchester United's new technical director looked unhappy during the club's 4-0 defeat to Crystal Palace on Monday. Jason Wilcox and Junk-Lord Blank watched Manchester United lose 4-0 to Crystal Palace live on Monday. The duo appointed by Ineos were pictured looking thoroughly impressed with what they were seeing. Doubts remain over Eric Ten Hag's future at Old Trafford following their 13th league defeat of the season. As to be expected, following any negative Manchester United result, the social media pile-on was quite something when Crystal Palace beat the Red Devils 4-0 at Selhurst Park on Monday night. This defeat was the largest United have endured this term and with Ten Hag's side sitting 8th in the Premier League and out of the European places, a victory against Manchester City in the FA Cup final presents itself as a last real shot at a Europa League spot. While there were continued questions around Eric Ten Hag's job at the helm, there was also nowhere for the players to hide either as Ineo CEO and Manchester United board member Jung claude Blank was photographed in the stands with the club's technical director Jason Wilcox looking very unhappy. Now, an image of United's current fortune circulates, much to the prestigious team's detriment. Wilcox and Blank watched on at Selhurst Park. Sir Jim Ratcliffe purchased 25% of Manchester United back on 24 December 2023, while Ineo subsequently took over control of football operations. 
the Glazer family still remain as majority shareholders. Monday's bleak showing further reflects that it's going to take more than one season to turn round United's tumultuous era. Whether that includes finding a new manager or a fully blown squad overhaul, drastic changes could be implemented upon the club from above, especially as certain senior figures in the squad look lost. Casemiro under fire for Palace performance. Another key image of Manchester United misery could be found with Casemiro's struggles on Monday evening as he filled in as a makeshift centre-half. Once a valued part of a Real Madrid team that went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Messi-powered Barcelona, Casemiro won 18 club honours with Los Blancos, including three La Ligas and five Champions Leagues, the Brazilian hasn't hit the same heights in the Premier League and his fall from grace runs near parallel with his current team. His departure could be a figurehead for change at Old Trafford. Talking on Sky Sports post-match coverage, Jamie Carragher offered a damning summary of the defensive midfielder's form of late. The former Liverpool defender fumed, I said at halftime his, Ten Hag, got to bring Casemiro off. He continued. I know he's got kids on the bench but I think Casemiro, deadly serious, should know himself tonight as an experienced player that he should only have another three games left at the top level. The next two league games and the, FA, Cup final. And he should be thinking, I need to go to the MLS or Saudi. I'm deadly serious. His aging, the people around him, they need to tell him this has to stop. We are watching one of the greats of the modern time playing in one of the best midfields we've seen who dominated Europe. Him holding, Tony, Cruz to one side, Luka, Modric to the other was one of the best midfields. Paul Scholes makes Eric Ten Hag sack prediction after Manchester United 4-0 hammering. Man United were defeated 4-0 by Crystal Palace in the Premier League on Monday and Eric Ten Hag faces an uncertain future. Paul Scholes believes Crystal Palace's 4-0 hammering of Manchester United on Monday night could be the final nail in the coffin for manager Eric Ten Hag. United's defeat at Selhurst Park was their 13th of the Premier League season, a new club record, and Chelsea and Newcastle have leapfrogged them in the table. The pressure has mounted on Ten Hag throughout the season. After an excellent first season for the Dutchman, United have spectacularly regressed and face the possibility of competing in the Europa Conference League next season, if they manage to qualify for Europe. United have gains against Arsenal, Newcastle and Brighton remaining in the league and could end strongly, but that seems unlikely given the performance against Crystal Palace. The showing at Selhurst Park was embarrassing and Scholes likened it to the 4-1 defeat against Watford in November 2021, which was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's final game in charge. Tonight felt like the final nail in the coffin, Scholes told Premier League Productions. There was a lack of know-how from the team, a lack of effort which is the big disappointing thing. Going to a team like Crystal Palace, don't get me wrong, they're doing well, but whatever situation United are in, they shouldn't be going there and losing 4-0. It felt like the end. If it is the end, I'm not sure, because what's out there at the minute? I felt he might get another year and work for a club that has calmed down a little bit by the new owners. It just doesn't feel like it now. Who's there to replace him? Now with Thomas Tuchel saying he's leaving Bayern Munich, it doesn't create a bigger problem for him, Ten Hag, because they are there to see. But it feels like he's on borrowed time and it feels like the end. I remember Ole Gunnar Solskjaer losing at Watford away, and it felt very similar to me, it felt like the end. Tuchel will leave Bayern Munich at the end of the season and has been linked with United, while Jose Mourinho is also open to a return to manage his former club. Paul Scholes names Manchester United caretaker manager candidate for the rest of the season. The former Man United midfielder no longer believes Eric Ten Hag is the right man for the job, 